Okay, so pretty straightforward here. Just a couple of chords alternating. Um, the tricky thing would be with the tuning. So for trying to match uh, the recording, you're going to want a low D flat note. So uh, the simplest, easiest way that we could do it here, um, just take the E, drop that down to D flat or C sharp, and just keep everything else the same. Um, I mean, technically you could drop every other string a half step, so you get like a, just a, your kind of D, drop D shape, but you don't really need to do that if you don't want to. So as long as you get the low E down to D flat or C sharp, and we'll keep the A, D, G, B, E under it. So all we have to do is just change the one string. And the shape is pretty simple here. It's nothing too wild. So um, initially we're going to want this B flat sus2. So with this tuning um, on the low D flat string here, we want the 9. Okay, and then on the A we want an 8. And then we can do 10s on the middle D and the G here. And basically with the strum on this, it's kind of like we do one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. It's like kind of three a little spread out and then a couple pairs of two closer, one, couple. So it's like, and then there's one, two, just before it starts over again. through it a couple times and then basically the next chord uh, we want a D flat major 7 so this is where our drop D flat comes into play is we just lift off the 9 of the the low D flat string there and just hit the open and we just keep that same 8 on the A 10s on the D and G and it's the same strum and the same amount of times Just a little side note, this is this is a way that you could also play Be Quiet and Drive. Okay, just kind of flipped it. Um, so there's a little side note there. But other than that, if you want to just do like a basic standard tuning, like on an acoustic or something, want to play these chords, or you don't want to mess with that D flat and don't really care for that kind of lower vibe or whatever, like you just want to do something in standard tuning, you could just do a B sus two like this, one on the A, three on the D and G, and then the one on the B and E you can strum it the same way. You can just do a D flat major seven by zooming up here. Go four on the A, the six D, five on the G, and a six B. And if you want, you could throw in that four on the high E too. Okay, so you can hear like those chords share a lot of notes. It's just kind of like switching that bass note. So a couple options for you there, uh, just two chords. So get those locked in and you should be ready to go.